What's going to be the outcome today? Well, all of us know the dozen sorts of ticking time bombs going on in the modern world, time bombs that have fuses of a few decades to no, all of them not more than 50 years, and any, watch, any one of which can do us in. The time bombs of water, of soil, of climate change, invasive species, the photosynthetic ceiling, population problems, toxics, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. List about 12 of them. And while these time bombs, none of them has a fuse beyond 50 years, and most of them have fuses of a few decades. Some of them, in some places, have much shorter fuses. At the rate at which we are going now, the Philippines will lose all its accessible um, loggable forest within five years, and the Solomon Islands are only one year away from losing their loggable forest, which is their major export, and that's going to be spectacular for the economy of the Solomons. People often ask me, Jared, what's the most important thing that we need to do about the world's environmental problems? And my answer is the most important thing we need to do is to forget about there being any single thing that is the most important thing we need to do. Instead, there are a dozen things, any one of which could do us in, and we've got to get them all right. Because if we solve 11, we fail to solve the 12th, we're in trouble. For example, if we solve our problems of water and soil and population, but don't solve our pro problems of toxics, then we are in trouble. The, the fact is that our present course is a non-sustainable course, which means by definition that it cannot be maintained. And the outcome is going to get resolved within a few decades. That means that those of us in this room who are less than 50 or 60 years old will see how these paradoxes are resolved. And those of us who are over the age of 60 may not see the resolution, but our children and grandchildren certainly will. The resolution is going to achieve either of two forms. Either we will we'll resolve these non-sustainable time fuses in pleasant ways of our own choice by taking remedial, remediable action, or else these conflicts are going to get settled in unpleasant ways, not of our choice, namely by war, disease, or starvation. But what's for sure is that our non-sustainable course will get resolved in one way or another in a few decades. In other words, since the theme of this session is choices, we have a choice. Does that mean that we should get pessimistic and overwhelmed? I draw the reverse conclusion. The big problems facing the world today are not at all th things beyond our control. Our biggest threat is not an asteroid about to crash into us, something we can do nothing about. Instead, all the major threats facing us today are problems entirely of our own, of our own making. And since we made the problems, we can also solve the problems. That then means that it's entirely in our power to deal with these problems. There's a, in particular, what can all of us do? For those of you, you who are interested in these choices, there are lots of things you can do. There's a lot that we don't understand and that we need to understand. And there's a lot that we already do understand but aren't doing and that we need to be doing. Thank you.